When you think of Hideo Kojima, you likely picture a visionary behind some of the most groundbreaking video games of all time. But what if we told you that Kojima, the mastermind behind the likes of Metal Gear Solid and Death Stranding, is also one of the biggest fans of Bring Me The Horizon, the genre-defying British rock band? The connection between the iconic game developer and the band goes far deeper than mere admiration. It's a creative synergy that has resulted in some unforgettable collaborations, showing that Kojima's love for music is as strong as his love for gaming. Hideo Kojima isn't just a game developer, he's a genius. A visionary who redefined what video games could be. Born in Japan in 1963, Kojima first made waves in the gaming world in the late 1980s. However, it wasn't until 1998's Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation that he truly cemented his place as a revolutionary force in the industry. Kojima's genius lies in his ability to blend cinematic storytelling with complex gameplay mechanics, effectively turning his video games into an art form. Metal Gear Solid wasn't just a game, it was a statement. Kojima introduced the concept of stealth gameplay, where players were encouraged to avoid conflict rather than engage in it. Beyond mechanics, his narratives were filled with philosophical musings on war, human nature and technology's role in society, all wrapped up in a web of conspiracy and intrigue. Kojima didn't just create video games, he crafted experiences that challenged players to think, making his work influential not only in gaming but in broader pop culture. But Kojima's creativity isn't just limited to the screen. His work showcases his deep appreciation for a range of artistic mediums. From literature and film to music, with every game, Kojima weaves a rich tapestry of references and homages, creating a unique and immersive universe that reflects his vast influences. And among those influences, music holds a special place. Which brings us to his unexpected connection with Bring Me The Horizon. One of the most direct tributes to Kojima's legacy in pop culture can be found in Bring Me The Horizon's song Shadow Moses, a track from their 2013 album Sempaternal. The title itself is a clear reference to the island in Metal Gear Solid, where much of the game's first iconic installment takes place. Shadow Moses Island is a critical location in the game's plot, a site of nuclear weapons development and the setting for some of the most memorable moments in the series. However, the tribute doesn't just stop at the title. The intro of the song features a haunting chant that echoes a melody directly taken from the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack. This isn't a coincidence, but a deliberate nod to the influence Kojima's work had on Ollie Sykes and the rest of the band. By weaving elements of Kojima's work into their music, Bring Me The Horizon was able to create a crossover moment that resonated deeply with fans of both the band and the game. Shadow Moses is a testament to the way Kojima's art transcends its original medium, inspiring creativity in fields as varied as music and fashion. And Ollie Sykes, the iconic frontman of Bring Me The Horizon, has never been shy about his love for video games, and Metal Gear Solid holds a special place in his heart. Growing up as a gamer, Sykes was drawn to Kojima's work for its complexity, mature themes and ground breaking mechanics. The world Kojima created resonated with Sykes on a deeper level, influencing not only his personal interests but also the band's creative output. In interviews, Sykes has expressed how much Kojima's games meant to him during his formative years. It wasn't just about the gameplay, it was about the storytelling, the characters and the emotions that Kojima was able to evoke through this medium. For Sykes, Kojima represented a new kind of artist, someone who was able to tell stories in ways that were just as impactful as any film or novel. This admiration ultimately led to the creation of Shadow Moses, where Sykes and his bandmates were finally able to pay homage to one of their biggest influencers. And Sykes' fandom goes beyond just the music. He's also spoken about how Metal Gear Solid has influenced his life outside of his career. Whether it's in the form of tattoos inspired by the game or references in his interviews, Sykes' admiration for Kojima is apparent. This deep connection to the game series has helped forge a bond between Sykes and Kojima, which is one that has only grown stronger over time. 
Hideo Kojima's love for music is well documented. His social media presence is filled with posts about his favourite artists, albums and songs, showing his strange taste that spans across genres. From alternative rock to ambient soundscapes, Kojima's playlists are just as diverse as his creative output. For Kojima, music isn't just something to listen to, it's a vital source of inspiration that helps fuel his creative process. Throughout his career, Kojima has consistently highlighted the importance of music in his work, whether it's selecting the perfect track to accompany a crucial cutscene, or incorporating a specific genre to set the tone of a game. Music always plays a key role in Kojima's storytelling. Let's take Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain for example. The use of 80s pop hits like The Man Who Sold The World adds layers of meaning to the game's narrative, demonstrating Kojima's masterful use of music to enhance the emotional impact of his work. This deep appreciation for music naturally led Kojima to connect with artists like Brim The Horizon. He's not just a fan of their sound, he understands how their music can evoke emotions and tell stories in ways that resonate with his own creative ethos. Kojima often tweets about his latest musical discoveries and Bring Me The Horizon frequently appear on his playlists, making it clear that his admiration for the band runs deep. In 2019, Kojima once again pushed the boundaries of gaming with Death Stranding, a game that defied traditional genre classifications. And as part of the promotion for the game, Kojima enlisted the help of none other than Bring Me The Horizon to create a track for the game's soundtrack. The end result was Ludens, a song that perfectly captured the essence of Death Stranding with its themes of connection, survival and the future of humanity. Themes that fit perfectly with the album that Bring Me was working on at the time, post-human survival horror. And the story behind Ludens was just as intense as the song itself. The band was given just a few days to write, record and produce the track. They were on tour at the time, so the song was created in a makeshift studio in a hotel room. And despite the pressure, Bring Me The Horizon managed to deliver a powerful track that not only fit seamlessly into the game's world, but also became a standout track in their own discography. Ludens reflects the mutual respect between Kojima and the band. The lyrics, which discuss the need to make a new world and adapt to change, echo the themes of Death Stranding while also touching on broader societal issues. It's a perfect example of how music and gaming can intersect to create something truly special, and it highlights the collaborative spirit that defines Kojima's work. Over the years, the relationship between Hideo Kojima and Bring Me The Horizon has grown into something much more than a typical artist-fan dynamic. Their creative partnership has evolved into a genuine friendship, with both parties expressing admiration for each other's work. This bond is evident in the way they continue to support each other publicly. For instance, the band has visited Kojima Productions, Kojima's state-of-the-art studio, where they were given a behind-the-scenes look at the making of some of Kojima's most recent projects. In turn, Kojima has been seen wearing clothing from Oli Sykes' brand, Drop Dead, further showcasing his appreciation for the band's creative ventures beyond music. Kojima's support for Bring Me The Horizon goes beyond social media shoutouts and fashion choices. He has actively promoted their music, including Ludens, to his vast audience, introducing the band to a broader gaming community. This cross-pollination of fandoms has only strengthened the connection between the two, making their partnership a unique example of how different art forms can come together to create something new and exciting. Even years after their collaboration on Death Stranding, Bring Me The Horizon continues to show respect and admiration for Hideo Kojima in creative ways. One noticeable example of this is during their post-human next-gen tour, where the band integrated elements from the Metal Gear Solid series into their live shows. And as fans, we were treated to some nostalgic touches, such as the use of the game's iconic start screens and codec call system, which are hallmarks of Kojima's work. These references not only showcase the band's love for the game, but also served as a tribute to Kojima's influence on their artistic identity. This ongoing homage underscores how deeply Metal Gear Solid has impacted the band's creative journey, 
The incorporation of these elements into their live performance is a testament just to how much Kojima's work resonates with them, and not just as fans but as artists too inspired by his vision. By blending these iconic gaming references with their music, Bring Me The Horizon continues to bridge the worlds of gaming and music, offering a unique experience for their fans. And it doesn't seem like they're done there yet, as Kojima continues to push boundaries with his new projects, such as Death Stranding 2. And let's just say there's heavy speculation that another collaboration with Bring Me The Horizon could be on the horizon, pun intended. Given their history and mutual admiration, it wouldn't be surprising if the band contributed another track to Kojima's future future works, further solidifying their place in the intersection of music and gaming culture. And if you want to learn more about Bring Me The Horizon, you should check out this video where I explain how Bring Me The Horizon has changed music forever.